second in Barnhill Arena, an 11-point win. That's the last Houston loss. And the Cougars control the tap. Craig Upchurch looking to Daniels. And here goes today to hang in against this Arkansas club, number nine in the last hole. And looking to move up before tournament time. From the corner is Lindsey Howell. And the first turnover day for a three-pointer. Just like that, 5 nothing Arkansas. Back in 1961, this is the first time in the finals of this tournament. A player at one school grows up and coaches against that school. Inside the credit, 7 nothing. His recent trend is not a good one. He shot less than 50%. Six of his last seven games. And Howell. Player of the year in the Southwest Conference, Lee Mayberry, the sophomore from Tulsa. Three-pointer finally goes for Byron Smith. The Cougars, after their travails, can come within four, and they do on the lay-in by Chris Morris. But you see, they finally got an opportunity to get into transition. Arkansas didn't score, so they weren't operating against pressure. Quickly back down through the pressure. Three-point try. Smith, two in a row. He has to hit that shot. Try by Morris. Rebounded by Credit. As always, Arkansas looks to run one of the top five scoring teams in the country, and Day has another three. They knocked out to Smith, and the Cougars will run with a man advantage. Smith and the three on two. No look feed. Up church to Morris. To Morris. And Daniels is open for three. Shooters roll. Two three zone. The way to attack it is to come in from behind it. And Mayberry connects on the baseline. Daniels, air ball. Rebounded by Hawkins. And a two-on-one, and here's Ernie Murray. Murray taking opportunities on the offensive board and staying in this game. Underneath again, and Miller's free from Tejeron. And Mayberry and Miller in a two-man game. There's the turnaround, and there is that soft touch. So Arkansas has almost built all of that early nine-point lead. NBA three-pointer. They went 1-3-1 one, one with that zone. Mayberry, second chance points, the first time. Morris. And now Daniels for the three-pointer. And Daniels with the board. Smith with good defensive pressure. Up church, open and good, and Craig up church. Very patient, Arkansas. Back three-pointer, Mayberry knocks it down. Second say, I'm the magic. <laughs> Oh, well, they're both 6-9. Herrera, only his second field goal and six another easy win over, <laughs> over Houston like they had in the in Barnhill in late January, but that was the old Houston. Since then, they've won 13 straight. Here's Fury for the three-point bomb. That's why Mickens and Morris are getting shots because they're concentrating on Herrera, so as long as you're getting good shots elsewhere, don't force it to Herrera. Air ball by Smith, and Oh, what a feed. What a pass, and Mayberry gets the steal. There's a four-on-one Arkansas break. Almost loses it, and it goes right to Morris for the jam. Chris Morris with a 14-point first. Heron in. Not as much help against the pressure, though, and sure enough, he drops it. Here comes Bowers over to Mayberry. Teheran was going the other way when that pass was coming to him. You must meet the ball. But against the pressure, a missed layup by Upchurch on a possession they really needed. Todd Day pulls up. That's when they have been at their most dominant. Here's credit. Open man is Lindsey Howell. That'll help him a little. Byron Smith, only two of seven from three-point range in the first half, coughs it up. Here comes Mayberry. Spins away from Daniels and a block by Herrera. Howell is there again. Down by only two at halftime. Next time they look up, they're down by 15. 15, 40 to play. Mickens with that group. Alvin Smith. And you look at the defense surrounding Herrera. Daniels for a three. Has three three-pointers. Pretty good trip down the floor for the Cougars that time. In a hurry, Howell. Got the shooter's roll. He's been gone for six years, and there's Herrera with the steal. Quick hands at six feet nine, and gets it back from Derek Daniels. Daniels going to motor up and look for Upchurch. Top shot with Miller right in his face, and it's a six-point game. Houston's amazing points. With their relentless.
relentless pressure and three-point shooting. And Bowers has one here, his second. Game, and for the second time, he has been a big thorn in the Cougars' side this year. Look at the defensive chain. Ball oh, threw out of Daniels' hands that time when he was trying to get a shot ready. And at the other end, Oliver Miller. Finally gets control of it, makes the good pass to the big O, Oliver Miller. Start extending that half-court pressure, and the fall away lined in by Alvaro Tejeron with his first points. Quickly down is Hawkins to anchor. Can't put it back in, there's that rebounding, and Smith loses the And the shot clock headed down to 10 as Arkansas strips it. Mayberry in a three-on-one. Air ball. Daniels leaves it behind, and Craig Upchurch launches himself for the jam. Picking him up far enough out that a three-pointer would be almost impossible to shoot open. Here's Herrera. And the Hogs run it again. All alone is Ron Heary. And scores. Lee Mayberry in the middle. He's the guy that makes it go. Ron Heary handles the pass and gets the big dunk. But Mayberry. A difficult shot. He takes a good shot in the back right there and still controls absence of concentration. And they're having one here where they absolutely can't afford it. That's true. They have done that all year long. Another two for Dandy. And they get another steal. But the Cougars get it back and it's Daniels in traffic. The no-look pass. And the lay-in by Craig Upshur. Down there. 270 pounds, you'd sway too. Herrera with the turnaround. Loyola Marymount in the first round lost to Louisville in the second. They hope that they can stay here in Texas for the first round at Austin and then the Midwest Regional back here at Reunion Arena. The leader by Todd Day, 11,000 of the 16,700 tickets. I don't see more than a couple of hundred who aren't up and roaring at this point as Miller gets the foot back. Score in Dallas, Arkansas, ending Houston's 13-game winning streak by a final of 96 to 84. And for the second straight year, the Hogs are the regular season and postseason tournament champions in the Southwest Conference.